Hey everybody, this is Insomniac VA. I have no idea how tag videos work, but one that I keep seeing appear again and again is the accent challenge. And I don't know why, but I am strangely compelled to do one. I don't know. They just, they fascinate me for reasons that I myself cannot grasp. But anyways, so yeah, after seeing yet another, I feel the need to do one anyways. <laughs> so yeah, we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. This isn't going to happen. Alright. <clears throat> Says to say your name, age, and where you're from. Alright. Okay, my name is Insomniac VA. You don't get to know my real name. Uh, I am 21 years of age, and I am from Florida. Yeah, Florida. Uh, pronounce the following words. Aunt, roof, route, theater, iron, salmon, caramel. Although sometimes I do call it caramel. Not too often, though. Fire, water, New Orleans, unless I feel the need to talk like Gambit, in which case it's Nolens. Or, yeah, Nolens. Pecan, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, pajamas, caught, naturally, aluminum, jiff, tumbler, Cracker Jack, doorknob, envelope, and gapoy. Okay. I, I think that was all the words. Alright, the next section of the challenge is... What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? TPing or toilet papering? What is a bubbly carbonated drink called? Soda. What do you call gym shoes? I call it I was homeschooled and I don't know. Uh, they're probably sneakers. Or Converse. But more likely than not, they are, uh, they're sneakers. What do you call your grandparents? Um, Gram and Gramps? What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A cart. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? That is a remote. Choose a book and read a passage from it. Uno momento, por favor. Ten fifty-five p.m. Barsidius White stood at the top of the brick stairwell that led into the basement, arms crossed, waiting, waiting, waiting. So much of life was waiting. All good things come to those who waited, as the saying went. He lifted his face to the pouring rain, and focused on the pelting of his skin. Lightning flashed. The storm was the kind that brought flash floods. Good thing to know. He knew a few things. None of those inside knew, naturally. More than a few things. The game was being so perfectly executed that he wondered if his luck would run out before he had a chance to introduce the real stakes. Or show his true power for that matter. If all good things came to those who waited, and he was waiting for evil to work its magic, did that make evil good? If he was waiting for the hour of killing, did that make killing good? 
Killing one person makes you a murderer. Killing a million people makes you a king. Killing them all makes you God. In the end, he would be God. Because the game being played behind these dirty white walls wasn't unlike the game all people played everywhere, every day, every last dirty one of them. In the end, they all killed. They all died. They all would rot in hell. But in this house, they would play his game which boasted enough drama and delight to bring a smile to the blackest of souls. Assuming he won. But he would win. He was born to win. Born to rip their filthy heads off their scrawny necks in a way that made it all at least interesting house by Frank Peretti and Ted Decker chapter 10 all right uh, what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining living in Florida it happens all the time why do people get confused or fascinated by this just come to Florida like in the summer you will see it almost every day it will rain and the sun will be out I guarantee you it will happen at least like four times a week <clears throat> for real um, but yeah get a lot of rainbows in the summer. Anyways, end audio by saying any three words you want. Ninjas riding pit bulls.